What does it mean to say yes to God, to be a disciple of Christ? In Matthew chapter 7, Jesus reveals some troubling realities to his disciples. It seems to me that he was trying to shake them up, wake them up from their uh, perception that they were okay just because they were near him. And he said, well, let me tell you what your judgment is going to be like. He said, uh, he said uh, many of you are going to come to me and say, Lord, Lord. And did I not, you know, um, do many good things in your name? Didn't I acknowledge you as God? Didn't I do all of this stuff? And of course, doing all that good stuff is part of being a Christian, but if we do it out of a kind of a sense of self-satisfaction or a sense of we're earning our salvation rather than relying upon Christ and recognizing that even the good we do is because of his grace. But instead we're saying, I'm doing this. It's sort of a false bootstrap spirituality. But instead, what Jesus says is, and he doesn't deny that they have done all these good things, which includes casting out demons and healing the sick, and in modern terms might be going to mass, building hospitals, donating to charity. But he said, depart from me, I never knew you. That word, no, that he uses there is the same word in the Septuagint, the the translation of the Hebrew Old Testament into Greek that they used to translate Adam knew Eve, the phrase Adam knew Eve. It's It's a deeper kind of intimacy. It's not sexual, but it is an intimacy of relationship. And so just going through the motions doesn't get you to heaven. What gets you to heaven is knowing, loving, and trusting in Jesus, cooperating with him, but truly knowing him. If you want to know Jesus, the next step in discipleship outside of mass and reconciliation is mental prayer. Mental prayer, exploration of the Gospels and Lexio Divina gives us a window into the person and work of Christ. It gives us the ability to understand and know him. It gives us the means to hear his voice and have him speak to us so that we might truly know him and understand our unique calling in traveling this narrow way. So let's talk a bit about prayer and Lexio Divina and being a disciple of Christ. Hey friends, if you like this video, please help us to be a blessing to others. Subscribe to our channel, spiritualdirection.com. Share this video. Help us get the word out. God bless.